got a really cool story, but I want you to hear a starting story. And this is a story by the name of, from a guy, maybe you've met this guy before. Um, his name is Lynn Thomas. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He hugs you probably at the door when you come in. Um, Lynn is a great hugger. And, um, and so Lynn is going to share his story. It's blue, Micah. Lynn is going to share his story and uh, just a little bit with you about how God has worked in his life. Lynn, why don't you come to the front up there? So, yes, you do. Thanks, Lynn. All right. Am I on? Okay. Actually, I don't like microphones. I'd rather just yell and scream so you can all hear me. So this is really weird because I didn't expect to be up here right now. I expected to be up here just before John talked kind of thing. So I don't, because earlier in the week we talked about how can I speak about leading into what he's going to talk about. Now he's already spoke about what I'm going to talk about. So this has really messed my mind up. I want you to know. It's my discomfort zone, definitely. So here's the weird thing. I'm going to share this to start with instead of end with. What John had up, Oops. What John had up there, okay, um, is something that um, I have on this sheet of paper right here, okay? Now, some of you have been around for a while, and uh, this goes back to almost the same exact date, October 25th of 2009. So how many people were here back then? Okay. Do you remember this sheet of paper? Okay. I give God my best. Today I commit myself to giving God my best in my time, talents, and treasures. How? <laughs> I don't know. God works things out. That's all I can say. So anyhow, I just want to share a little bit today with you um, on serving and sacrifice for God in my life. So this goes back a long time, but I'm going to shorten this up because I spent this entire week trying to figure out how I'm going to do my entire life in five minutes or less. So let me just start with saying that in my life, I believe God created me to be a servant, and I love it. Nothing excites me more than serving people. Now, I know we're not all wired the same, and that's cool. But I just want to ask you a question individually right now. Take a moment to think back in your life and come up with a moment that you served someone or something. And what did that feel like? For me, every time I serve, I feel that I've, I've given something to someone. So serving is really giving of yourself, okay? And along with serving comes sacrifice, and that depends on the circumstances. But if you've never served, you've probably never sacrificed much in your life. So I just want to say that for me, in my relationship with God, it's been the biggest part of my life that I can always count on making me feel good about what I'm doing. So I'm just going to share a little bit about my personal life and my church life and some of the things that I do and some of the sacrifices that are made in doing it. And I'm going to kind of condense this because I'm already three minutes into this. So rather than getting too detailed, let me just say that when I was a young man, I started coaching sports. I did that for over 30 years. What that required of me was not just the time in coaching, but also the time in preparing and doing events and different things like that. I also served in the military for four years, and that was out of a duty, a duty and honor to this country. I also served as a servant and a um, worker for three municipal governments, and so I was serving the people 
of those cities. And in doing so, there were always sacrifices that had to be made. And when I think of sacrifice, I think of usually there can be times, treasures, talents, there can be all kinds of sacrifices. For me, it was giving of my time. And a lot of times when I had to get up in the middle of the night and go out in uh, the middle of winter and fix a water main break, um, or I had to give up a Thanksgiving or a Christmas because there was a water main break or something else going on, and I had to give up my time away from my family, those are sacrifices. Things are very important to us, and to me, my family is number one outside of God. Um, as far as church goes, uh, most of you know that I wear about six different hats here. Uh, I've been involved with the church board uh, for about 15 years. I'm not serving now, but I have. Uh, what does that require? Time away from home, preparing for meetings, going to meetings. I also um, was a part of uh, Coach by Christ for 10 years. That was our kids' Wednesday night program. Uh, that required a lot of time on Wednesday nights. It required a lot of time on preparation and being ready. Uh, I uh, also served since 2006 in our Frontline Men's Ministry Leadership Team, which required meeting pretty much we met almost every week for those almost 16 years. Is it worth it? I couldn't ask for anything better. For me personally, to give to the guys of this church and guys throughout this community. Um, I'm also a member of the Frontline Kids Ministry Team. Uh, I also just joined the trustees for the church. Um, so you can see I do all kinds of different things. Okay, I'm also 75 years old. You can tell by my hair. And uh, uh, it gives me the opportunity because I'm retired so that I can do all these things. But why do I do them? You're probably asking, why would you do all these different things? Why? Because I love people, and God wants us to love people, and he wants us to share our lives with people. He wants us to serve people. And now I know we're not all wired the same, but, you know, as I look out here and I see everybody intently looking up here, I just hope that this... Uh, sacrifice part and the sacrifice is just a small part of serving okay trust me I don't have any issues with sacrifice because it is part of what God expects from us so I think I've exceeded my five minutes it didn't get to cover everything I really wanted to cover today, but I want you to get the point of this you know serving is something that's an expectation at this church Serving is a part of what we should all want to do. We've all served in our lives, and we should look forward to it. We should do it with the right attitude, and we should do it with all our heart, soul, mind, and we should do it for God. So I just want to thank you for my time up here this morning.